stupid. Jennifer, it's been lovely to talk to you. Thank um, you. As it always is. Uh, just how many sweets do you think are in my jar there? What do you reckon? <laughs> Skill and judgment, come on. 1100. 1100. I know the answer, and that is not that bad at all. Ladies and gentlemen, Jennifer Lopez! <laughs> Oh, you just missed the butt cheeks as well. <laughs> I'm sorry I masked them. How about that? Jennifer Lopez, everyone! <laughs> OK. Now it's time for another slice of reality. Please, just calm down. It's going to happen, all right? It's time for Clowns Across the Pennines. But one, wo no, what, 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 one word of warning. If you're of a nervous disposition, you might want to look away during some moments of this. Clowns Across the Pennines! Yay! The Pennine Way, 268 miles of rugged terrain. Over the coming weeks, this will be home to these five clowns. Cobblers, a party clown from Glenroth. Happy, a circus clown from Southampton. Pop-up Polly, a party clown from Runcorn. Little Nick, a circus clown from Cheadle. And Tom Fun, a stage clown from Pennar. They will endure freezing conditions and hostile landscapes in the ultimate reality challenge. <laughs> After a difficult day, the clowns are treating themselves to an Indian meal. <laughs> to everyone's surprise, Tom Fun turns out to be something of a culinary expert. This is chicken malaya. There's, half of that is that there's a piece of pineapple there. It's chicken and pineapple in a mildish sauce. <laughs> I'm always happy to eat something new. If ever I go into a restaurant, if there's something I can't understand on the menu, well, that's probably what I'll have. <laughs> that's how I first came to eat baby guinea fowl. <laughs> Another saga, Lou. Please. All the Lou's will be saggy tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll chip them I'm waiting for a saga, Lou. <laughs> Sagalu. Potato in Spanish. Day six, and despite heavy overnight snowfall, the clowns are in high spirits as they head towards Gargrove for an appointment with Bo the Clown and his award-winning clown car. Oh, Bo. Nice to meet you. Oh, hello. Right. Yeah. I find it easier to make clown friends than I do to make human friends, the same. <laughs> Dare I say it, it's like a form of Freemasonry, you know? It's, it's a secret society, in a way, but without a secret. <laughs> For most of the clowns, this is proving to be the highlight of the trip so far. <laughs> but getting back behind the wheel of a clown car has brought back traumatic memories for cobblers. When I sort of grabbed a child um, by the sort of chest area, you know, uh, didn't happen. It wasn't really a child, he was probably more nine or ten year old. There was a. Uh, <laughs> We jumped on the back of my clown car. <laughs> I was having a bad day. I just sort of grabbed him and said, give him a wee shake. <laughs> the manhandling of a child is something cobblers still regrets to this day. Yeah, it's not the kind of publicity that you want to, you know, have as a children's entertainer. Although we're verging, hopefully, on family entertainment, you know, we're, we're progressing. There we go, clowns across the Pennines, one small step for man, one giant floppy boot for clown kind. I described that as chilling television. Mm -hmm.